Oh no. <gasps> you have to obey me. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We are on to episode two of Young Royals, season three. Yes. It was a good start to the season. It was explosive. A lot happened. A lot happened. We also see that the queen is not in a good in state. Condition, yeah. Yes. Uh, right away, the episode starts with a fight between August and Villa. Yeah. And then we also see that Simon's dirty laundry is being exposed, which includes the dad. And the mom, of course, was incredibly upset. Yeah, she didn't know about she anything. She didn't know, which then led on to having a bit of a fight. Simon and... They didn't really have a fight, but Simon came after Sarah, mm -hmm. blaming her. It's your fault. She Sarah left the dad. runs away. And then we see Felice is missing Sarah. Um, so again, a lot of complexity. But a very explosive end with the school potentially closing. A new principal is in place. Interim principal... Uh, because of the scandal of the initiation and a lot of stories have surfaced. Yeah. Um, thank you also for the comments. We wanted to clarify one thing. Um, very clear disclaimer. We don't believe or think that Sweden as a country is conservative. But what we've seen last episode is that certain parts or certain towns or certain villages are somewhat conservative. Like we've seen the mother was quite upset. Simon's mother was quite upset. You know, the pride flag was burned. They received some messages. threats and hate yeah. mails. So it is interesting to see how that side that appears to exist in Sweden is explored. And there were also a few other comments that were quite interesting talking about, you know, the scandal at the school that is somewhat um, from a real story. Something similar happened in Denmark. Mm -hmm. um, so your comments were very insightful and we, we really loved reading them. So thank you so much. And without further ado... Let's go. Let's go. Mm, curfew. Yeah, he's grounded. Oh, yes. But also the curfew, yes. What would you? Oh, cute. Birthmark? Jeez, mm, he knows his whole body. That's beautiful. They can't even have that a phone call. That is crazy. <sighs> that is crazy. That is crazy. The principal is not playing around. He's now gonna be like, flick. I have another phone. That is crazy. <gasps> don't, don't read the comments. Oh no. <sighs> oh look, he has the red light on as well. <sighs> people people can be horrible. Oh hello Valentino back. Here we go again. <laughs> we should have a Valentino counter going Sponsored forward. Sponsored by Valentino. Exactly. That is crazy. He needs to stop with the comments enough. Sting av. Sting av. I would want to watch it. Well, that's a cool shirt he's wearing. Valentino. Is this? I don't know. <laughs> At this point. Two minutes to get out of this last time. It will be absolutely nothing. Just because some people are a little sad over that they joke. He's taking it personal, no? Men, men det här är ju en uppenbart kryddad historia. Alltså snacka om en jävla porrfilm. Alltså vi, vi hade verkligen inte... Alex is gonna speak up, wait for it. Well, maybe not as his, his, but maybe the previous initiation. Huh. Interesting. Vi måste alltså offra vår student. För att Ville <gasps> var tvungen och berättat no. världen att han huckar med någon jävla snubbe. Fan skärp du Vincent. Alla vi kommer behöva byta skolor. Alltså vill du gå i någon skola i stan med sossar och nyrika white trash? Vill du det? White trash. 
Du borde göra något slags gemensamt uttalande. Då kanske det lugnar ner sig. Kanske vi till och med får tillbaka vår student. Is that a good idea? Med his mom? Oh. Mm. Farina, Farima? Hon är migrän, sömnsvårigheter. Läkarna har tagit alla tänkbara tester på henne. Så nu får vi bara vänta och se vad hon säger. Du har inte varit med om någonting av det de pratar om. Nej, inget som vi inte har kunnat hantera. Oops. Om de här historierna visar sig stämma, då ser det inte bra ut ifall vi låter dig vara kvar här. Vadå så ni tänker försöka oh, no. sluta här? Mm. Men ja, om det visar sig stämma, då måste vi göra det. Det ser inte bra ut annars. Okej, okay, så planen är alltså att inte göra någonting för en <clears throat> So potentially they might actually pull him from the school. But he's gonna try maybe so nothing comes out. Or nothing more comes out because he wants to stay at the school. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So it kind of backfired on him a little bit. Which was obviously not his intention. Ah, uh, okay. Can we skip this scene? Ah, uh, the music room. Exactly. <laughs> uh, only bad things happen here. Oh no. Och om de stänger skolan för allt som har hänt. Alltså det är väl bara bra egentligen. Vadå, vi skulle inte kunna vara tillsammans. Hur är det bra? Det är klart vi kan. Eller är det bara tillsammans med mig för att vi går i samma skola? Good point. Interesting how short-sighted Willem is now. I just mean that if I go to school in Istan, so we will never meet again. Yeah, so we will never meet again now without school time. And that gives me no difference between us, or? No. What does he mean by that, potentially? Maybe it's like, oh, are we just boyfriends because we're going to the same school? The whole vibe is so bizarre right now. What's happening? People are already acting as if they've shut the place down. My God. Yes. What? Feliz Ayan Krona. Skulle jag kunna få prata med dig på mitt kontor? All right, Vanessa, we are on our way. So, Feliz. Skulle du säga att du trivs här på Hilderska? Ja, självklart. Det är lugnt, tryggt. Ja, bra helt enkelt. Mm. Och utanför skoltid? Och gemenskapen på skolan är ju helt fantastisk. Om man får vänner för livet. Eller hur? Ja, men bra. Och då har de skickat en lista på elever som de vill intervjua. Och du är en av dem. Mm. Let's prepare you. I was like, she was testing the waters. Och jag vill att du ska veta att jag är så glad att de har valt just dig att prata med. Oh my god. Vi är verkligen stolta över att ha dig här hos oss. Här har vi mångfald på alla sätt. Oh no. Mm. They, probably, they probably want to interview either Simon or Villa as well. Cute. Harassment. Teacher harassment. Oh, who's this? Och är det något vi alla verkligen behöver just nu, så är det att vara ute i naturen. Let's go into the naturen. He makes for a good comedian. Camping. Chop chop, come here. Chop chop. Oh, chop 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 I like him. Oh, uh, they should have introduced him earlier. Oh, good question. Villain chuckles softly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he chuckle? Cute. Oh, Sara. She's at her dad's. I wonder if they talk to each other. Well? Like it. Well, 
They're sitting at the same table. Alltså jag fattar om du inte vill tillbaks till den där skolan. Skaffa ett jobb. Du kanske vill jobba med hästar. Jag tror inte jag vill jobba med hästar. Oh, the bonding. I was about to say the same. Father-daughter bonding. He's impressed. She touched five things and she's he's impressed. <laughs> Checking all the mirrors. But then again, he hasn't seen her in a while. So this is very special for him. <gasps> is he gonna join the choir? I was about to say... <sighs> what? No. Oh my god, that's so funny. Stop it. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's cute. It's a nice surprise. It is very cute. <laughs> Get a room. <laughs> Ideally with curtains. <laughs> cute. So cute. Oh. No, imagine him missing the bus. Vanessa's gonna lose it. <laughs> well, is it like, this is so nice at the moment. Mm. Something bad is about to happen again. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Oh, oh I can relate. Nice. I can totally relate. Like that, just deprimed, and all the world just thinks all kinds of strange things about us. Why didn't they just, I don't know, play Monopoly or like gr grab a Game Boy or read a book or draw? You know. Oh, come in. Is that the speech he's preparing? Petition? But I hope... I hope he's not just gonna go to the press with it, you know? <gasps> what happened? What happened to them? Uh, We're gonna get a flashback. That doesn't stop for him. We heard what we loved. We didn't do the same thing to our We didn't do the same thing to our first year. What did they go through? What happened? The offensive. The som han. Yeah. Alla skulle veta. Ja nej, alltså inte jag heller. What? Bra. Okej, men ja, jag drar. I have goosebumps. Vi ses. What did they like force them to make out or something? Oh, even I don't know. But... Mm. but that was them in the first year, right? Those initiations Which means have been... Eric was there. <clears throat> Those initiations have been going on for like years and years and years, which you know? Which means Eric did the same thing to them, I guess, which... And then they said, we're not mm. doing it anymore. Yeah. August? Yeah? Utegångsförbudet börjar klockan sju. Yeah. Ja. Oh, bless him. <sighs> no, what is he going to do? Through gonna... the window. Oh no. Is he having a panic attack? Mm. Old phone. That's a bit random. <gasps> Is he going closer? He knows her number by heart. You know that's I don't even know your number by heart. <laughs> Speak!
He is a mess. And the acting is amazing. He still has feelings for her. Yeah. Uh, Hur mår Sara? Mår bra. Ja. Hon bor hemma hos sin pappa som hon hatar. Hon kommer inte till skolan. Hon har inga vänner kvar. Allt är lite fel. Simon, you said some very nasty things to your sister. Don't blame it all on August. It's also not all August. Fall, exactly. You know? What do you think? I mean, August might not be the best. August. Vad fan tror du att du håller på med? Jag kan inte bestämma vem jag får och inte får prata med. Du ska med. inte prata. Du ska oh inte no. titta. Du ska inte ens andas i närheten av någon av oss. Oh no. August, min familj äger dig. Du lyssnar på mig. Ooh, you have to obey me. No! No! He started it! No. They said no more drama at the school and here they're fighting. <sighs> <sighs> the crown prince likes to fight. Oh, this is the skoibrok. Mock fighting. Yeah, what should I call it? Medlarsamtal. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, seems to be a theme. It's your own fault. Seems to be a theme. Sarah and her dad are bonding. Mm. These two are going to be bonding. Had ni också en väldigt nära relation, bara två med Erik? Nej, inte han. Han känner inte Erik. Vad du gjorde? Vad sa du? Som att du gjorde det. Oh, no. Oof. Yeah, who knows? Maybe August knows stuff about Eric that Bella doesn't. I was just thinking that actually, thinking also back at the initiation, you know. Who knows what nasty stuff Eric used to do. We don't know. Ugh. Mm. Don't read it. Crazy. Låt det bara rinna De får inte se dig The red light is uh, mm. The red light is standard now in his room eh? I find it interesting how it used to be Willis thing and now he's adopting it mm. because obviously he wants that feeling of having that light around him now it's cute. Nice. Are we gonna get another song? Simon's song, part two. Look how many fish! The fish have babies. But when and where is he gonna sing it? Oh, he recorded himself. Is he gonna send it to... Is he gonna upload it? Oh, yeah, maybe. To social? Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe he's gonna win people over. Yes. <sighs> Who is it from? Oh, Farima. The PR lady from oh. the court, no, the royal court. Uh, she obviously said we need to be careful what we post, including a very interesting comment actually from one of the viewers last time who said Simon um, should have received some sort of coaching or training from the royal court, mm. which I agree with, you know. Why which is she upset I, which now? I thought is going to happen actually. Yeah, don't be upset at Simon if you haven't coached him. But also, like, not coaching in terms of how to behave. And yeah. what to do, but more like how to deal with people commenting and stuff like this, you know? Okay. He's going to tell him to take it down. No. 
den här... No. Som du har lagt upp. Ja. Den är, den är jätte, jätte fin. Ja. Oh. Ja, det är jätte, jätte fint. Men allt du gör nu representerar... Oh. Mig. Same Kom old, ut. same old story. Funkar inte att du lägger ut sånt här på sociala medier? Inte för oss. Okej. Okay. Uh, he's pushing Simon away with this kind of stuff, you know. I love you too. Puss, so so good. So good. Villa actually should have replied to Freeman and say, "Listen, I get you, but why don't you give Simon a call and yeah. coach him? Tell him what he should do, what he shouldn't do. Don't make me call him and tell him off for posting this bloody video." Get me out of that. Jag vet att du har arsch på henne, men jag vet också att du fortfarande blir... Och jag har börjat kontakta mm, med min pappa, mamma. för att hon hatar honom. Om vi ändå ska tvinga oss ut i skogen och frysa, ska vi inte bara fixa ett rave då? Vi har ju sju mycket lampor som helst. Oh my god, ja! Ja! Mm. Let's turn it into a rave! Att du måste ha en sån här elig lampor, det är bara det. Har skolan det? Nej men alltså det är bara hela grejen med att jag ska bli intervjuad. Vi andra sitter ju bara och läser allt skit som alla skriver om allting och vi kan liksom inte ens bemöta det. Fast det är ju mycket av det de säger som faktiskt är sant. Vem som är extern och intern. Jag har inte tänkt på det innan, för en nu i alla fall. Mm. Har vi verkligen måste säga jättedåliga? You actually don't know how, how bad it is. Because you might have not experienced it. Middags you know? vakter en gång i veckan. Men allt jag säger är bara liksom, om man känner sig så himla förtryckt så är det väl liksom bättre att säga det när man går. Mm, but people are scared. Mm. Husmor säger ju alltid till mig och sätter på det när jag har glömt. Men all det är. Interesting. Jag menar bara att det är inte alltid jättelätt att vara den enda svarta tjejer med lockigt hår i vår klass. Very true. Very true, that was in season two. Mm. You remember? Yeah, see, and they don't know what to say. Mm. Ready for camping! In her fur. Glamping. They're doing glamping. Oh my god, I have a disco ball with them. I'm kind of not surprised. It's kind of on brand. At this point. I'm surprised they're not wearing Valentino. Give them a little show. <laughs> Cute. Is this the calm before the storm? Oh, look at the lights. That's cute. Wow, they are turning it into a rave. Yeah. Maria Berry's in the building. You know who should be here? Ross. <laughs> Vanessa. Oh, the friends. Oh. Molly, Molly, they look. They, they seem to be So friends are allowed. Yeah, we go rave. Rave. Hmm. Also, so for dancing, you know. Oh my god, something is gonna happen. The teacher's not saying anything about this? I'm a little surprised as well. <gasps> you think they're gonna kiss? Stop it. Stella? Stella? Oh! Federica? She's gonna be jealous. Oh my god. Kompis, var ni tog lite konstigt eller? Mm, nej, jag tyckte hon var nice. Va? Okej. Okay. <laughs> vad har ni för simmor? Interesting. Inte så mycket, jag ska väl chilla med Simma. Så so Federica has feelings for her, clearly, because she is jealous. Mm. Stella has feelings for her. 
which we know from last season, but none of them is strong enough to actually do a season. Come forward. Yeah. Vi ska gå faktiskt till New York. And where's that? In New York. Jag har läst i USA. Nej. Jag ska också sommarjobba. Som ni. Hela sommaren genom hovet. Det, det kommer nog också bli så intensivt. Liksom. Oh no. Tension. Fylla på en nära fan snacka dem. Fylla på min fucking telefon. Stopp, stopp. Jag vill inte att du filmar. Ärligt. Vad fan snackar de? Vänta. Kan jag få min telefon? Tack. Du drar ifrån. Tack där. Tack. Weird situation. Mm. Det var att det inte är ett tillfälle för alla att ses. Eller du kan inte bara säga att du också ska sommarjobba. Mm. Du ska på prinsskola, det är inte samma sak. Det är absolut samma sak. Vill du, vi måste jobba för att ha råd med saker. Ni får allt gratis, ni får kläder, ni får resor, ni får... Du pratar om att välja och... Jag har oss. Det låter som att vi pokar. Well, you are fighting. I would like to unshush me. Vi och ni. Ska vi alla... The shushing was a bit much. Mm. The shushing was a bit much. I would never shush you. You would never shush me. No, seriously. The shushing? Girl. Let's quickly go back. I just want to see this one more time. Fattar inte hur privilegierade ni är ibland? Vi fattar inte det, nej. Rosha och Jubb, de har koll på hur mycket pengar de har fått från August, eller? Why is he bringing that up? Not the right thing to say. No, completely wrong. Oof. Here we go again with this communication. <sighs> Just want to take him and shake him. Yeah, they're kind of like pushing each other away. Away, it's you know? just nonsense. Yeah, but I think they have to also go through this in a way, you know, because that's how you bond at the end of the day: conflict and you know, working through things together. This is a bit weird though, be like, mm. dude. Stop it. Inflatable sofas. <laughs> I've never I seen this. They're going glamping, they're not camping. <laughs> yes. Vi vet inte än. Men det betyder att du behöver vara stark nu. Vad does that mean? Att du är redo. Be ready to take over. What? What does that mean? And that's the end. Stop. Ending with another bomb. So like they said, the mom is in really bad shape, but it's I guess it's more Sounds like men mentally yes. and not, not physically. physically. Although they did say that she has migraines and, st and stuff, you and know. And she can't sleep. So, but I guess like the mental things are also impacting physical phys the body, you know. Mm. So, wow! But then to go that far to say like be ready, we, we need to prepare you, mm. like get ready. Weird episode. Weird episode. Felt a little weird. They're throwing a lot at us. I feel like they're throwing a lot at us. Um, yeah, it feels like they're, they're, they're quickly working through a lot of things, you mm -hmm. know. Um, 
things also like, um, for example, Roche and, and uh, Stella coming together mm. at that rave. Feels a little weird that they would allow outsiders to come to actually in. Join, yeah. yeah, that feels weird. Like that's a little weird to me, considering what the school goes through right now. Yeah, and that part of that group, the Crown Prince is part of that group. Why would you allow just because it's you know those are the friends of of of, of a student? Mm. Why would you allow them in into that circle? That felt a little weird. But all right, here we are. It creates. I mean, ultimately, it. it it creates an interesting tension between the girls, right? We now suddenly see Federica is jealous. So we know clearly she has some kind of interest. She's she has feelings for Stella. Um <clears throat> but there seems to be something brewing, you know? Like there, yeah. there is a conflict coming again between Simon and um and yeah. Willem. Like you like you said, it feels like they're drifting apart. Like it's a small small fracture. Yeah, it was more like the first half of the episode was almost too good to be true you know like they were having such nice moments together Mm. and then i was like "Ugh, something's gonna happen you know and yeah it feels like they're like kind of drifting apart slowly Mm. first with simon posting the song online bella telling him or asking him to take it down well actually before that right they were in the music room Mm -hmm. and they kind of joked about it but they were like oh you know, are you saying that we wouldn't be boyfriends if we wouldn't be going to the same school yeah. because they're not doing stuff outside yeah. of school? But then and you said you said Villa seems very short sighted. You know, yes, it's almost like he hasn't really thought about what's next. What's next, or like if they were in a different situation, mm-hmm. like not at, not at the same school, mm-hmm. would they actually still be together? Mm. And that's a valid question, but. Then we do see Villa making an effort and he comes to the the singing, to the mm-hmm. core lessons, right? But then what you wanted to say, obviously, now at the uh, at, at the at the camping, right? They started. Yeah, with, yeah, with the song and then now at the camping oh, yes, as well. Song. It's like him shushing him. That was crazy. And I understand also Simon's side, obviously. Like, there is a difference between where he comes from and his friends and what they have to do, you know, finding jobs and like earn money. So to live, you know, you need to work to live. And then obviously Villa, who, as he said, he gets everything for free. But in his mind, he's like him going to this summer school school or whatever. Yes. For him, that's work, you know, like that's a job for him. Yeah. Because it's not really something he actually wants to do, mm-hmm. but he has to do it. Yeah, he has to, sh- he has to show up and whatever, yeah. But yeah, there is a difference. It's interesting. Yes, yes, yes. And it's interesting. And um, Farima, the PR <clears throat> representative from the Royal Court, right, clearly being upset about what's going on and also saying something very interesting, you know, if these things would be true, the allegations, we would have to take you off the school. Yeah. You know? But then also being like, oh, this is what I'm talking about. Someone posting this song. But at the same time, it's like, why don't you coach him? Why don't you? We both said it's actually wild that they're not giving him some kind of coaching. But if you don't have time to coach him, just give him a list. Do's and don'ts. I would be annoyed, but I'd be like, okay, let me try and play by the rules because this is serious. It is the royal court. I have to play by the book. You know, I have to play by the rules. Speaking about the initiations as well. Oh, we found out a little bit more about August's and, and, Niels. and Niels' initiation. Yeah. Which obviously was like years three ago. years ago. Yeah. Sounds like it was a bit more intense than what Extreme. Villa had to go through. Yes. And I thought that was already intense, you know, but... Who knows what they had to do. Wow, it almost sounds like they really... Like traumatized by that. They looked traumatized, both yeah. both of them. I actually had uh, goosebumps as they were talking about it, and you know there were a lot of pauses. The acting again is incredible, right? They really make you believe. Maybe it was them too who had to watch the gay poem together or something, and maybe also do something maybe. with another. Like, but again, it it was an interesting moment when when then August says, "Oh, you actually didn't know Eric, or you didn't know mm. a lot about your brother." Um, and the, the question remains, what was Eric doing that we are not aware of? Because he was a, t- a second year when August onboarded to the school, no? Yeah. 
I think so. Yes. Yeah, so he was part of those initiations. Another interesting part was that Felice has been selected to be interviewed. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the principal I, obviously wanted to like test her. Test her. Yeah. What are you going to say? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say it in that very moment, but when she brought her in and then we found out, oh, she wants to, she wants to prepare her for this interview. I was like, oh, are they, are they wanting to interview her because she's the only black girl mm -hmm. in the school? And yeah. then later on, she plays into it and says it, you know, I am being treated differently. Yeah. I am being treated differently. Yeah, but also, yeah, when she was talking to the, to the, to the girls, you know, she did say like, oh, I've never really thought about it. But now, yeah, there are actually quite a few things going on happening at the school which actually are not okay you mm. know um i have a feeling because obviously when she was talking to the principal the principal was like kind of happy and you know, like oh yeah like what you said was re like really good you know, like, gonna... what's... but i think when the actual interview happens <laughs> she would say something else she would drop a bomb yeah do you think yeah okay let's see that could be interesting that could that could potentially happen she could actually, if she's smart, like she could actually really turn it around and obviously point out all the positive things mm -hmm. about the school, mm -hmm. but also say like, well, there are a few things which yeah. can be improved, improved. You know? Yeah. Because, yeah, it's also not realistic to just say like, oh, everything, everything is, is amazing and everything is perfect. No, because you know? that's literally just red flags yeah. everywhere. I'll be like, okay, what is really going on here? Um, but the, the question is then, what what can you say without tipping it over? Yeah. You know, like how far can you go and how honest can you be? Uh, so again, could she be also benefiting of uh, you know? Yeah. Of, of a I mean, coaching? imagine if she would say like, "Oh, I feel like some of the teachers are like racist, racist or something." I that mean, would that would crazy. like destroy. The Vanessa school. would lose it. Yeah, I'm calling her Vanessa. Vanessa <laughs> would lose it. Um, yeah, weird episode, but good episode because. You know, episode one was so explosive, but it feels like episode two is There's taking it all in. And then suddenly you see those branches suddenly like those. It, I find it very interesting how they're slowly planting certain seeds, you know. Mm. Um, I also find it interesting how they're showing us suddenly Sarah, who hated her father. There is some sort of bonding happening, mm -hmm. which is actually nice to see. Yeah. And it really gives you hope because Sarah, who hated her father that much... Is bonding with him you know mm -hmm. like she is opening up to him which actually shows you there is hope there is hope so i'm also having hope that she will reconnect with her brother mm. i'm also hopeful that she would she would reconnect with uh with uh, Felice. yeah yeah but it, it's funny enough her bonding with the dad it's almost like simon is annoyed with that because as he said growing up he always protected sarah he was there for her he stopped talking to the dad mm. because she hated it's him over. and now she's living with him. So he kind of feels like betrayed and like, you know. But let's be real for a minute. When August walks over and asks about her and then someone loses it and says, it's your fault, it's your fault. Mm. I was like, babe, yeah, you were the one much. who said a lot of nasty things to your sister. Yes, she ran away because you told her to leave. Where do you want her to go? Where do you want her to go? Yeah, of course true. she went to her dad. That's when Willa should have appeared and be like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> I mean. <gasps> Willa also needs to, uh, sorry, Simon also needs to sometimes take, a, a, you know, like ownership and respons like yeah, responsibility. Just be like self-aware, you know? Yeah. He said some nasty things to her. I wonder though, like obviously Sarah and her dad bonding. Mm -hmm. But eventually if he's gonna kind of force her to go back to the school mm. or like just be a bit more serious with her and be mm. like listen we need to talk like if you don't go back to the school you to you're gonna job. lose you're gonna lose your spot you know well he, he did you find a job he did already tell her you know what are you going to do next like you want to find a job and, and then he did get her moving oh let, let's let's focus on the you know the the driving okay. license uh, but i mean we saw it from the trailer there will be some sort of you know discussion or some what of a meeting mm -hmm. between the girls because we see her speaking to Felice in the trailer so let's see how that will play out one more thing actually quickly August calling her 
That was a beautiful scene. The acting. Him finding this old phone yes. some, somewhere in the yeah. cupboard. And I think she knew. Maybe she had a maybe feeling thought, yeah. it was him. But yeah. then he he hung up, you know. He wasn't strong enough to well, speak. Well, obviously she couldn't call back. Yeah. So, But his acting was incredible. He's just, you know, with that phone. And he's just stoic. Mm. But then you see how the... Like the tears are forming. That yeah, was crazy. It was like obviously it was right after he wanted to go for a run, but he couldn't. Mm-hmm. You know, and he had this like kind of like anxiety attack, mm-hmm. and he was thinking about her, right? He, obviously, he misses her. He still has yes. feelings for her, but yes. he also knows she was always able to like true. Calm, calm him down. You know, very true. Yeah. So he just needed her in that moment. She is his rock. <gasps> oh, I need that August t-shirt. Team August t-shirt. <laughs> Don't go that far, you know? <laughs> right. This was episode two. Thank you for being uh, here with us again. This was another interesting episode. Um, the, the show is becoming more and more complex. I'm a bit concerned because we have four episodes left. Mm-hmm. I hope they're not going to leave us hanging. I need to wrap it up. Yes. But thanks for being here with us. Please subscribe. Flood the comment section. We will try and reply to all of you. And we will see you for episode three. Take care. Bye.